Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania on Saturday night, July the 2nd, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks, 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5.5 for a long sprint on the dirt track, Phillies and Mares, 3 years old and up, race for a claiming purse of some $23,000. Contenders number 4, setting the rate. Number six, Oratoria. Number seven, Fancy Up. And number eight, Miss Mia. Number four, Setting the Raid, has been perfect in her last five adventures. She, she's won five straight. Three of those efforts also qualifying as power run wins. Number six, Oratoria is the speed and pace profile leader in this field, sprinting at her about tonight's short distance of five and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in five straight, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Angel Rodriguez and trainer Tim Kreiser send her postword this evening to hit the board with 57% of their entry saddles the team to date. Race 5 summary, number 4, setting the rate, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 6, Oratoria, number 7, Fancy Up, and number 8, Miss Mia, 4, 6, 7, 8, in the 5th from Penn National. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race 4, number 11, Muscadine, 5 to 1 in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a class drop of 6 units, Decent overall speed for tonight's sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Canterbury Park in Minnesota. Possibility this track is closing today, but assuming that there's racing. Here at Canterbury, race three of the five to one shot. Number one, Timber Hills, a track master plus power pony qualifier. Takes a class drop of 14 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field sprinting at or about five and one half furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from Penn National on a Saturday night, I'll be here, Rick Needham, for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.